Yeah, okay, anyway, go ahead. Anyways, redshirt of transfer. Tennessee will make a New Year's Six Bowl. I'm, I'm definitely redshirting. I'm very high on Tennessee. This well, year. I didn't want to start with you, but I guess we will. Go ahead. <laughs> I'm definitely, I'm definitely redshirting. Uh, I mean, I just look at their, their schedule and, you know, outside of, like, they kind of have it, like, you know, kind of have it a little bit easier because they play Georgia the second to the last game of the season and then Bama, like, a couple games before that. And Bama, is, they're still kind of toss up on their quarterback. Like, I think uh, Buckner is probably going to start, but, like, that team. It's going to be Buckner. I'm yeah, telling like, you all right now, it's Buckner. The rest mm. of the the rest of their schedule is favorable. Like they could beat Virginia, uh, Austin, come on, man. Like they'll, they'll beat all of those things. Like Florida, I think they'll beat them. UTSA, South Carolina, A and M. Listen here. Like, Listen you know, here. I'm they haven't sorry. beaten us in Gainesville since 2003. It ain't changing this year. I think it's gonna change this year, bro. I, I just, I'm like Joe Milton. I'm high on him this year, bro. I, you know, like. I don't think it's gonna be a one like I don't think it should be as one read as it was last year where they were just going nine ball, nine ball, nine ball every play, bro. Like it should be a little bit different. I mean when you have no, a receiver who only knows how to run the nine rather yeah, than Jalen yeah, Hyatt, yeah. then they, they, mm-hmm. they have, bro, Milton like we've been talking about this dude having a gun, bro. Like he, he's he's that guy. Like just I, I just I, I just it's not it's not a bad uh it's not a bad pick, man. It's not bad. Yeah. And it's then not. like they have so many players coming out this year. Like, this team should be pretty good. Yep. I think I am going to redshirt as well. I do believe they will make a New Year's Six Bowl because that's just what being in top twelve more yeah. than likely. Well, you're looking you're looking at pretty much if you win ten games and don't make the playoffs, yeah. you get a New York. You know, you New Year's pretty Six. much. Um, yeah, I, I think they will get ten wins, but I also. I, don't, I feel like they'll be a weird team. There will be some weeks where they're like, oh, my God, these guys are unbeatable. You know, they're keeping up with Georgia. And then there are times where it's like, what are we? What is this? What am I watching? I just, I don't know. I have that weird feeling. I still think they're going to be very good. They can potentially compete. I do think they will make a New Year's Six Bowl. I just, I don't know why. I have a feeling there are going to be some games where it's like, why are we struggling, or why did we lose this game? Did you transfer? Me? No, I redshirted. Okay. Well, I'm going to transfer uh, only because I completely agree with you. I think there's going to be games like that, and I think it's going to make them lose a few games. I think Joe Milton, as good as he is, I think he will struggle some games. Yeah. I think he will overthrow some receivers still, just like he did in his early Tennessee and Michigan days. I still think that that's a possibility. He's got a nuclear cannon. It's hard to control that thing. I know it's that's a joke, but I know that's a joke, but it's but it's actually true. I mean, uh, I, I I do think yeah. that uh, until I see it first, and this could be something I totally change my mind on, but I think he will make some mistakes to where that Tennessee will lose more games than they should. And, and I uh, right now I got him at like three losses. Mm, max. I, Three I may, I may max. change mine actually. Three cause... losses probably max. And you look at that schedule. Like I mean, you got Georgia, yeah. you got Florida. You know what, fishing? You convince me. I'm transferring. I'm taking off the red shirt. Let's go. I'm Let's transferring because I I'm looking at it. You know, Georgia, Bama. Keep in mind that roster is not that talented, especially yeah, that Georgia, really Bama. Not. Fishing, you might get me on the Aggies hype train by the end of the season. I don't know. Um, you know, what South Carolina are we going to get? Florida at Gainesville. Florida, we don't know what they'll look like. And also, Tennessee hasn't won in Gainesville since, what, 03. Again, there are going to be games where it's like, oh, my God, Tennessee's competing with, like, the likes of Georgia. Wow. And then there's other games like, why are we struggling against Texas A&M? What is happening right now? Yeah. And, and like Florida last year, they shouldn't have struggled against Florida, but their defense was so bad. Yep. And Florida knew that they yep. had to, to score with them, so Flor- and Florida could. Again, it was quite weird and also infuriating that every time we got 400 passing yards in a game, we ended up losing said game. Well, It didn't make any true. sense. This is true. The defense. But, the yeah. nightmare's fishing. Oh, yeah, the PTSD, bro. <laughs> the nightmare. <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> Coach, are you uh, are you rich or transferring? Well, I'm fishing transferring. and I cry ourselves to sleep. I- I'm transferring because I do things some get. They're going to lose some games that they don't also, uh, lose. Uh, you forgot uh, Joe Milton, 
did not have a did not start off good at Michigan. It's the reason why he yeah. actually in the transfer portal. He was not a good quarterback at Michigan. Uh, yeah, he played solid mm-hmm. uh, Clemson, but with a fresh start this year, I, I'm still I'm still I'm still open to, up in the air on uh, Joe Milton. I'm not a fan of him. Um, I think it's a chance. I think I'm, I think they had three losses at best. Like Fisher said, don't be surprised if they get a fourth loss because I think they will lose to a team that they don't actually supposed to lose to. Now, Missouri is always tough at home. They were tough on Georgia at home last year. Georgia had the yeah, they were. game down the stretch, so don't don't count Missouri out, especially at Mizzou when you got to go to Mizzou. That's a hot spot right there. Uh, I can see them also. I can see them also struggling against uh, South Carolina, but I think they pull that off. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna put a loss on them on Florida. I'm gonna put a loss on them on Florida. I'm gonna pin a loss on them on that one. I'm I'm damn sure picking Georgia. I'm damn sure picking Georgia against them. I do my brother. I'm gonna put uh, mm-hmm. pick, pick Bama, yep. I'm gonna pick Bama on them pick, at Tuscaloosa mm-hmm. and uh, UTSA ain't on slouch either. But I, I'm a, I'm gonna go with Tennessee. So at three, at best you get losses. You get three the road losses. runners now. Hey, Coach, I wanted – man, I was thinking about a schedule too, man. I said, they don't have to hey, Frank Franklin. Harris. Yeah, yeah. Hey, but it, yeah they Frank always Harris about to drop it on him, but I couldn't do it. I couldn't yeah, they, do it. They, I, they, my, they, my brain kicked in. My logic they, kicked in. Yeah, I was about to say, I was about to say like, <laughs> it was it was one of those situations where my, where my brain was like, all right, we got to pump the brakes here. Hold on. I think, Tennessee, gotta, hold on. I think Tennessee beat him. I, oh, think, I think Tennessee beat him, but uh, UTSA ain't no slouch. I think they can – I, I think it's – it would not surprise me, and I'm not saying this is going to happen, but it would not surprise me if Tennessee was the team like, we somehow beat Georgia, but then lost to the Aggies. That, that, Where is yeah, the that logic in there? That, that would not surprise me, me if that was Tennessee. And let's not act like Tennessee hasn't had that happen before with them as well. They're like, wow, we beat a top team. And then lost to a team not even ranked in the top 25. Well, they just did it last year. They I know. They beat yeah, the shit out of LSU. They beat the doo-doo out of them. And then they lost to South Carolina. Yeah. And, that also South- lo- and also lost to a Florida team that was not good at all last year. Yeah, so it's like, South- what do you say about South Carolina? And then if South Carolina beats Tennessee, what do you say about Tennessee? It's like, yeah. okay. We well, gotta have some consistency here before it, we can better you a top It was program. the opposite. It was the opposite of uh, Oklahoma State. South Carolina yeah. got the the dog snaps be out of them by Florida, <laughs> and the then they did lose another game. They beat Clemson and then Tennessee. Yeah, yeah the dog snaps, bro. <laughs> Tennessee true. is just a weird team to me. They are, and, and, the, and you, but you, but you know why though? I, I think they're very well coached. <laughs> I think the offense is is really a really productive productive system, but they don't have the depth at receiver. Not this and their year, defense least. still sucks. I mean, defense, they, again, man, it, the it fact just that does not have the depth to keep up with any other top SEC team, it, it, not consistently. Yeah, I mean, let's let's be real here. If Trey Dean didn't blow at least one of the coverages, they probably would have oh, lost against Florida because oh, he literally. We also recovered it. I know it hurts. It hurts me too. <laughs> I hurt here still, bro. I still get nightmares from it. Fishin, come back, please. Fishin. You heard Fishin, me. please. Joe Melton about to go crazy right. this year, bro. Fishin, please. All right, what so Manny. Yeah, so I we're all transferring except Manny. Oh, I already said I'm, I'm retro. All right, so I said we're all transferring except Manny. Yeah. Okay, Fishin, come back. Fishin, please. Yeah, Joe Melton, like, what are the odds of him winning the Heisman is what I want to know. It's got to be, like, I, very slim. Uh, My bad. I'm here, man. I'm here. Yeah, do you know like do you know the odds of uh Moon winning the Heisman? Oh, odds of what? But give me a second. The odds on Milton winning the Heisman. I think it's like I don't know. Is on the like plus eight hundred or something. It's gotta be slim because of how good it's, it's, it's like plus eight hundred. Yeah. Maybe over a thousand. Uh eighteen hundred. Okay. Eighteen hundred. Yeah, there we go. Yes. Tennessee could have won it all if they beat Georgia, probably. Well, I uh, would uh, uh, no, 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 I don't agree with that. Yeah, no, you're, you're right, right, you're 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 right. Bro, CJ Stroud and Ohio State would have put 60 on them, bro. They would have. That is true. Their I, to be honest with you, and, and y'all could catch some flack from me from this, but I think TCU or Michigan probably could have beat Tennessee. Yeah, honestly, oh, any I single one of them could have, yeah. Again, that defense was terrible. That defense was trash. Tennessee and Ohio State would have been fun just because of the offenses, but it would have been the final score would have been like sixty to fifty-two. Right? Yeah, yeah. That would have just been the final score. 
Yeah. If you like I offense, agree. it's a good game. If you like defense, don't watch. 